I come from a family of nine. Um, I had uh, four brothers and four sisters, and, but I've had three siblings who passed away. And I'm a mother of two, a grandmother of nine. Lupus runs in our family. My oldest brother died from complications of lupus. I have a niece with active lupus who's actually hospitalized as we speak. I have a diagnosis of lupus. We have lots of autoimmune stuff, hyperthyroidism, Graves' disease. My brother had, has had kidney transplants. I went in and the doctor told, well, I actually did a biopsy and they found out that I had a focal sclerosis nephrotic syndrome. And my first reaction was, I can't win the lottery, but I can get something that only one in 300,000 people get. And then you used to have to deal with that, so I had a kidney transplant. I wouldn't know why. I kind of like always wanted to know why, why stuff happened, why. And so, which led us to um, all of us. I think the implications, they can be far reaching in a number of ways, you know. Mainly for my family, we could, you know, not cure anything, but have a, somewhat of an idea where, you know, some of this comes from and why is it so prevalent in, in our family. It could be important to the community because a lot of times as black people, we think of ourselves as a monolith and we don't really realize just we have a mixture, a great mixture in this country. And that mixture is of colors and of diseases. paperwork, it stressed privacy, it stressed that you know, our information would not be used for anything other than uh, um, the research and that our names would be taken off the research. There's never 100% privacy because we live in an information age and there's always that one, you know, that small possibility that information may get out. But if you weigh privacy against outcomes, and I think the outcomes would went out. Because of slavery and Tuskegee and sense of fear and distrust in the medical system when you talk about research, maybe we can be a voice to say, yeah, it's a process that worked, nothing bad happened, we just got information. It was very productive and we felt like we had some sense of accomplishing and connecting with the medical fields on a safe kind of platform. If we know more about our genetic markers, what's going on with those sets of people, um, we'll be more able to push our agenda um, when we talk about uh, you know, hospitals, medi medicine, medications, uh, you know, things of that nature. I have grandbabies and you know, I want to know if genetic am I passing it on and how can there be some kind of intervention, some kind of research that can really benefit not my generation but the future generations.